Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, I'm now answering question number 15, part D, from the June 2015 C12 International A Level at Excel Core Mathematics paper. Um, this question um, is part of question 15, 15A, to see we're all about the angle or the, um, the coordinate geometry of circles and the equations of circles. Question D is more about trigonometry, so I'm going to um, save this in a separate video so I can save it under a separate playlist for the topic as well as a playlist for this question. So here it says, it tells us what to do actually. Here it says, use the cosine rule on triangle ABC to find the size of angle BCA, which is this angle over here, which I'm going to call X. That's the, side, the angle we have to find. And they've told us to use a cosine rule and give the answer in degrees to three significant figures. So the circle shown in figure four it has a center P56 and passes through the point A127. So I know the coordinates of this point is 12, 7. And I know that the coordinates of B are 0, 1. So B over here is 0, 1. And C, the coordinates of C, 4, 13. All right, and it says use the cosine rule to find this angle. So basically, when you're using the cosine rule, the formula that's normally given is um, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of angle a. Now, because here we're trying to find an angle and we're given, basically we can find all three sides, then I would use the formula cosine a equals, which is just rearranging this formula, b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. So this goes over there, then this goes over there, so you end up with adding 2bc to both sides, subtracting a squared from both sides, and then dividing by 2bc. So you end up with this formula. Now, this formula, you can just memorize it, basically. For finding an angle, you need three sides. However, they're not three random sides that you can put anywhere. This side here must be opposite the angle you're trying to find. Okay, so if I use this formula, then the, this side here must be what I need as my a. This must be my a in the formula. And then b and c can be either of these two. All right, so it's not always opposite the side, the angle a is side a. No, it depends on the question. This formula is applied by its concept, not just directly by the letters. So the, the a here is the side opposite the angle you're trying to find. So the a here would be the side a, b. And then b and c can be the other two sides. doesn't matter which one is which. So basically, if I just rewrite this in terms of the information I have, it will be cosine x, because I call this angle x, equals b squared plus c squared, where it really doesn't matter. It can be bc as b squared and ac as c. So you can have bc squared plus ac squared minus this side ab squared, which is opposite the angle I'm trying to find, divided by two times the other two sides, so two times bc times um, ac. Okay, so this formula will help us find the angle. So what we need now is we need to find the lengths of these three sides. So let's start with AB. So AB is going to be the square root of um, the distance between these two points is going to be the x distance is 12 minus 0 squared plus 7 minus 1 squared. Okay, so that's going to be the square root of 144 plus 36, which is the square root of 180. You can leave it like that for now. Um, we don't have to write it in simplified third form um, um, because in the end we just can find the angle. So we can leave it in that form. That makes life a bit easier for us when we're dealing with stuff. And we need to find um, the, uh, the side BC. BC is the distance between these two points here. So if we take the change in x, that's 4 minus 0 squared plus, and you've got 13 minus 1 squared for the change in y. So that's going to give you um, the square root of, that's going to be 4, which is 16, plus the square root of 12, plus the square root of 12, which is 144. So that gives you the square root of 160. And then we got um, AC. So AC is the square root of the distance between the x, we can say 12 minus, well, let's do it this way. Um, yeah, 12 minus 4 squared plus, and we'll have 7 minus 13 squared. So that's going to be the square root of, now that's 8 squared, which is 64, 
and that's minus 6 squared, which you square the minus is going to give you 36. That's 64 plus 36, which is 100. The square root of 100 is 10. So that's going to be 10 units. Okay, so now we have to find, or we have to apply this formula. So we can say the cosine of the angle x is equal to bc squared, which is going to be 160 if you square that, plus ac squared, which is going to be this, which is going to be 100 if you square that, minus ab squared, which is going to be 180. The square root of neg of one root 180 is 180 divided by 2 times b times c 2 times bc 2 times root 160 um, times ac root which is 10 so it's 20 times root 160 so we can just stick this all in our calculator inverse cosine of all of that and we get our answer so we're going to have make sure we're in degree mode which we are because it says in degrees, um, so I've put inverse of cosine, put my fraction, so it's 160 plus 100 minus 180, all over, that's going to be 20 times root 60, 20 times root 60, or two times root 160, sorry, that's 10, 2 times uh, 10, 20 times the square root of 160, and close that bracket, press equals, and we get 71.565, 71.565 degrees. Now they said to three significant figures, so you stop here. So we can say therefore the angle that we're looking for, which is angle BCA, so therefore angle BCA is equal to 71.6 degrees. And there's the answer to part D of this question. Um, and that completes this question. Other questions from this paper, including parts A to C, can be found in the link that will appear in this region at the end of the video. Other questions from um, this topic, which is basically trigonometry, um, can be found in, this is from P2 trigonometry, can be found in the playlist that will appear over here, in this area over here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching. and. See you soon.